Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we have something really important to discuss regarding the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. So as you probably know, EMBR has released an exploit and a bug for iOS 11.3.1. The jailbreak is in the works. It won't be released as fast as we thought, but eventually the jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 will be released and hopefully it will happen this month. So here's something you really need to know right now as Apple has stopped signing iOS 11.3.1 so you can no longer downgrade to iOS 11.3.1. But if you're on another firmware, if you're on iOS 11.4, or even iOS 12 beta or even iOS 11.4.1 beta, you still have a chance to get a jailbreak. So here's what you need to do. I really don't know why, but Apple is still signing iOS 11.3 beta 6 and iOS 11.3 beta 5 as well. So you can downgrade to iOS 11.3 beta 6 right now and have a chance of course to get a jailbreak in the near future. So downgrading is pretty simple, you need to do it through iTunes, I'll leave a video right down below in the description of the video which shows you how to downgrade your device. I will also leave you the link where you can download the IPSW file the iOS 11.3 beta 6 and then use that IPSW file to downgrade your device to iOS 11.3 beta 6 and then you can jailbreak your device once the jailbreak is released. And also that's very helpful, Apple is still signing it, I don't know why, but they can stop signing it any moment so just hurry up. Of course you need to check if they are still signing it before you go ahead and try to downgrade as at the moment when this video is recorded iOS 11.3 beta 6 is being signed but that can stop being signed any day or any hour now. And if you're on iOS 11.3, iOS 11.3.1 or any of the firmwares that can be jailbroken in the jailbreak that will come in the near future, you want to make sure that you stay there, you don't accidentally update your device. Just make sure you install the beta profile, tvOS beta profile on your device and that will stop updates from coming to your device. Again, this is really important so you don't mess up and update your device to iOS 11.4. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are some things that you really need to do right now if you want to have a chance of jailbreaking your device with the jailbreak that will come out in the very near future. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.